but we're not kids anymore. I mean, what did you think, really? Sweeter, older, better. I repeat, a code red. I really... I dump your... Maybe tomorrow we can play D&D. Hey, what's going on guys? It is Jack here, and today I'm showing you another Stranger Things mock. This one is of Mike Wheeler's basement. I figured I'd make this thing because this is the first place where we see the gang together. It's pretty iconic because it lets us know exactly how they work together, how they're nerdy, and how they're just going to play out in this show. And that's why this thing looks like it's specifically taken from season one, because that is what I based it off of instead of season two or season three. But without rambling on, let's go ahead and jump directly into this mock. The first thing I want to talk about is the D&D table, and you can reach that just by going directly down the stairs. It's right in the middle of the basement, so you can see all the characters, the D&D board, everything like that right when you first enter. Now, this does match the rest of the room in the sense that it's incredibly messy. One of the things about this whole basement is that it's just so incredibly disorganized. It's almost disgusting, but I'm fine with it. The table itself is crooked. It's leaning on some lopsided legs. None of the chairs match. It's all very messy. It's got a D&D board up top, and then all the characters surround that just because that's gonna make you feel like this is a Stranger Things universe. If it doesn't already look like that, then I guess I did a bad job. Next to that is the little fort where Elle actually hid in the first season. This thing isn't exactly in the right spot, but I wanted to include it just because this was the only area I had space for it. To make the blankets, I did something I didn't think I would do. I used some cape pieces, and it may not look exactly right. The colors may be off, but I think it's a pretty cool technique, and you can tell what they are. Tucked in the back corner, you can see the place with the couch and the sofa, and that's the same thing, but this place is shown a lot more in season three than it is in season two. And this is actually one of the messiest parts of the entire build. You can see a disgusting brown sofa with a blanket draped over it. There's a lamp literally leaning between the couch and the shelves. That thing was supposed to fit, but I did some miscalculations and I was just too lazy to fix it. Plus it looks better leaning than it does straight up. The shelves are decorated with a bunch of random things. Nothing here makes sense, but I did include the dartboard and some things I did see in the actual shot. And to really cap the mess off, I added a red armchair that really matched matches none of the colors and a coffee table and that will cap this little corner off and we can move on down to the desk area and the tool section. Directly next to that is what I just said. There's a desk right there. There's a bunch of papers on it. There's a lamp and some toys leaning up against it including the Millennium Falcon. That's what Elle lifted with her mind in season one. Directly to the left of that is the workshop. There's a simple yellow phone sitting on the divider between the two sections but this place has a bunch of tools hanging on some bulletin boards. There's a fan sitting on top of a desk and of course a chair so you can sit down and do work and of standing up. <laughs> that sounds so stupid. But the final area to this mock is a place I didn't even know existed until I watched season three. I hate to be that guy, but maybe it wasn't shown. I honestly can't remember, but this is just the bathroom. All that's in here is some checkered tiling, a toilet, and of course the dresser set with the mirror. I do remember them looking in the mirror and doing something in season three. I need to go back and rewatch it. I've seen it twice already, but I can't remember what they were doing in there except conspiring against Mike. But anyways, that will wrap it up for this mock. So if you enjoyed, I will leave some more Stranger Things mocks linked down below. You can check them out in the cards or the end screens, but I do want to mention this thing is in collaboration with TD Bricks. I'll be sure to link his rendition of this mock down below, but as always, thanks so much for watching, and most importantly, take care.